Kansas lawmakers are not convinced about marijuana. There's a stigma with it. And it's, it's very, very unfortunate because it, it does do a lot of good things with people. Ken Hausler is a veteran and an owner of CBD Nation. The store offers CBD gummies, pills, and topical treatments for depression, anxiety, and chronic pain. CBD is used by people across the state as a form of alternative medicine. CBD is legal in Kansas. Here, it's made from hemp, which means it doesn't contain the hallucinogenic components of marijuana. The products at CBD Nation have helped treat thousands of people in Kansas and across the nation. Some people say marijuana could have similar medical properties, but no bill calling for its legalization has made it past the committee floor. Some lawmakers have pushed for legalized pot to help solve state budget problems. Representative Gail Finney from Wichita, who introduced a bill on legalizing medical marijuana in 2009, says some lawmakers didn't take her efforts seriously. They would joke with me and like, oh, Rep Finney just want to eat some chips, <laughs> smoke weed and eat chips. Finney also says one of her main opponents was law enforcement. Despite efforts to legalize marijuana in more than three three dozen states, it's received pushback from Kansas law enforcement officials who have linked it to an increased number of people being chemically impaired. Since 2009, when the bill was turned down, Finney says more people have changed their mind about marijuana. Now that there's more widespread acceptance of marijuana across the state, with one poll showing more than 60% of Kansans in support of legalizing the drug, some lawmakers are making a solid push for it this year. We will be having the debate again and hopefully it would have what I call a serious debate about it. This time around, legislators in favor of legalizing marijuana hope that their efforts will have a lasting impact. Now, as some legislators get ready to make a push for marijuana next year, Representative Finney says she expects them to move closer toward agreement on the issue. Live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.